Hello guys, in this video, let's discuss how we can filter logs in transaction search in App Insights. So guys, I want to show you a couple of important filters which we may use frequently. And guys, transaction search in App Insights is normally our go-to place for the logs. Okay. And now we will first discuss filter based on event types. So for example, let's say you want to find the logs only for exception. So in that case, we can select event type is equal to exception. And second, we'll discuss filters based on operation name. So for example, we want to find logs for a particular Azure function or a particular API. So in that case, we can select this operation name is equal to get users. So guys, get users, uh, just consider it as an example of a function. And now let's see it in Azure portal. So guys, we are in Azure portal and let's click on app insights and we have these two app insights. So this is my test app insights 22. It is our application insights for our SP.NET core web application and test app insights. It is app insights for our Azure function. So let's open both in separate windows. And you can see this test app insights that is app insights for Azure function. Let's click on transaction search. And here you can see this filter that is event types is equal to all selected. So let me just select exception over here. And in this I will select last 30 days and let's say apply. And you can find we are the logs only for exceptions. Okay. And now let's say you want to filter based on a particular function from this function app. So for that, just let's click on this filter icon. Please follow my mouse. And from this drop down, let's select operation name. So let's go down. And here we can see operation name. And again, we have this new drop down. And here you can see we have this operation name. Okay. Now, as of now, in this function app, we have two functions that is function one and function two. So it looks like there were no exceptions in function one. Hence, function one name is not appearing over here. So let's go to this uh, filter that is event types. And here, let me say select all. And now let's see. And yes, here we can see now both the functions that is function one and function two. And let's say function one. And then below, we can see the logs of only for this function one. And now let's go to the app insights for our SP.NET Core web app. And again, let's click on transaction search. And again, here I will say last 30 days, I will say apply. And again, here event types, I can select exception. So for example, if I select exception, it will show the logs only for exceptions. Yes, we can see exceptions. And again, if I click on this, filter and again I can select this operation name and you can see we have the name of operations so let's select it again let me go to event types and let me say select all and again you can see we have the complete traces or complete logs available for this particular operation that is home slash index.